Well, for instance, there's, there's some dogs you could almost bet wouldn't go for certain guys. Nathan, no matter how terrible a fellow may seem, you can never be sure that some girl won't go for him. Take us! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Nathan, darling, starting with next week, I'm going to get a raise. So with what I'll be making, I wondered what you would think. Maybe we could finally get married? Well, we'll get married sooner or later. I know, Nathan. <laughs> but I'm starting to worry about Mother. What about your mother? Well, Nathan, this is something I've never told you before, but my mother, back in Rhode Island, she thinks you were married already. And why would she think a thing like that? I couldn't be engaged for 14 years. People don't do that in Rhode Island. They all get married. Then why is it such a small state? <laughs> anyway, Nathan, I wrote her we were married. You did, huh? Uh-huh. And after about two years... What after about two years? We had a baby. We had a baby? You told your mother we had a baby. I had to, Nathan. Mother wouldn't have understood if we hadn't. What type of baby was it? It was a boy. I named him after you, Nathan. Well, thanks. You're welcome. So tell me, where is, where is Nathan Jr. now? Oh, he's in boarding school. I wrote mother he won the football game last Saturday. I wish I would have had a bet on that. But Nathan... That's not all, Nathan. Don't tell me. He has a little sister. All those years, Nathan, and Mother believes in big families. Big families. Just, just give me a grand total. Five? <laughs> five kids? You told your mother we had five kids. She must be a glutton for punishment. Well, anyways, Nathan, now we're finally getting married and it won't be a lie anymore. Adelaide. Baby, how could you do this to such a nice old brother like your mother? But Nathan, you don't even know my mother. Well, I'll have to meet her sooner or later. And now what do I tell her? What do I tell her we did with the five kids? Traded them to the Phillies or something? <laughs> what are we going to do? We could get married. But marriage isn't something you just jump into like a kettle of fish. We ain't ready. I'm ready, Nathan. What do you think I got in this box? Nathan, what do you think I got in this box? Sally's wedding shop. I don't know. It's a wedding veil. I've had it for three years and I won't show it to you because it's bad luck. Would you like to see it? <laughs> no, it's bad luck. So, Nathan, darling, I, I have the veil. Now all we need is our license and our blood test. Our blood test? It's a law. What a city, huh? They closed down my crap game and now they want to open up my veins? Nathan! You're not planning to run your crap game again. Adelaide, why would you think a thing like that? Why do you think I gave up the crap game? It's because I love you. And I want us to be the happiest married couple there is in the world. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Has anybody in here seen my earring? I don't think so. You. I was all dated up with society max for tomorrow and he had to cancel on account of your dopey crap game. Honestly, Adelaide, I pity you. Oh, there it is! Adelaide, baby, I'm down on my knees. Oh, get up! It reminds me of your crap game. Adelaide, you're getting yourself all worked up. It'll be all right. After all, we love each other. We're gonna get mad. I don't believe you anymore. Listen, you'll feel better tomorrow. Let's see that old smile. <laughs> that a girl. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. It says here, the average unmarried female, basically insecure. Yeah.
difficult to endure, affecting the upper respiratory tract. In other words, just from waiting around for that plain little band of gold, a person can develop a cold. You can spray it wherever you figure the strength to cough my life. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't wait. Yeah. 